Bye, you know me, babe. Work like I own the company. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Someone broke the iron. It's not me. What's wrong with that? It's not hot. How come the toast thing won't go down? Mm, the fuse must have blown. Great. That's all I need. A crinkly shirt for my meeting with Judy. You guys just hold tight, all right? Let the man do his thing. <sighs> Thanks, Finney. I'm desperate. We're going to be in trouble no matter what we look like. I know. OK, when we have this meeting with Judy, let me do all the talking. It was my mistake. Let me tell her. I am your senior. I should have reported it. Let me tell her how concerned I was for the daughter, especially as a father had cancer. Tanya, you breached patient confidentiality. You can't dress this one up. Sorted. Great, I need another cup of tea before I go. Hey, I should show you guys how to do it sometime. You know, it's good for you, just in case I'm not around. What the hell was that? I must have overloaded or something. This is all I need. All right, you guys yell out and let me know when it's on. OK. That is not a problem. I'm here if you need me. Okay, bye. I baked a cake and everything. For? Etty. He was supposed to come and stay. There's been a change of plans. That is disappointing. Morning on this beautiful day. Can you pick up Harry? Is Tony okay? She looks a bit down. If there's anything Ron, I... Ron, butt out. Well, I was just... You were just being nosy and I'm not in the mood. Remember? Is that copying done? Tanya, Jeffries, you're the only person I know who can crease uncreasable fabric. We've got no power in our house. Oh, how did that happen? Vinny, the home handyman. Need I say more? Oh, if your father was here, he could fix it. There must be someone on staff who can. Uh, if they're a certified sparky, yeah. Most men can fix a fuse. No, you don't mess with electricity. Mm. It's dangerous, not to mention illegal. You can't get an electrician in for two days. So I don't know a guy. I'll get him to come around this afternoon. Really? No, no trouble. I'll ring Vinny and make sure he's in. Okay. I'm so buying you a beer tonight. Right, little miracle worker, aren't you, Hamish? Oh, I have my ways. Yeah, well, you were missed, of course, but we managed to tickle on. And I miss the real home invader being uncovered. Yeah, I've been thinking about Gary. How I charged in like a bull at a gate. Unsettling time for all of us. You look good, by the way. Thank you. In this uh, retreat, all the incense and self-esteem matters? No, wasn't that bad. Once I'd figured out a way to avoid the yoga classes, um, I settled in nicely. Interesting people? Battle weary, I'd call most of them. By the end, I felt like telling them to pull themselves together. And that's when you realised you felt better? Mm. And so, what now? Is there someone you can call I have on? a contact, should I feel the need. Really don't think that's going to happen. Well, it took guts to do what you did. Thanks. I'll show them as possible. I shall. Welcome back, Judy. Thank you. What's wrong with your shirt? Nothing. Nothing that a good iron wouldn't fix. <laughs> How's your holiday? I need photos. Well, my break was fine, and no photos. Uh, was there anything in particular you need to raise before we get started? There is something, but it can wait. Okay. Well, once everybody's ready, we'll get started. No, I doubt it's a major, mate. A fuse, loose connection. Take five minutes and there's a hundred bucks in it for you. Yeah, on yeah. Address, 12 Hacienda Heights. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, sounds good. See you there. Hacienda Heights, isn't that, um, isn't that our rancho? They've got electrical problems. I told Tony I'd sort it. Thought you had a girlfriend. I'm doing a friend a favour. Hey, look, I can't say I blame you, mate. Tanya is a hottie. Had a chance to go there myself a while ago, but um, I let it slip. <laughs> Dummy. I could have it back, though. Any time. Want to bet? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm <laughs> just joking. No, no, let's put some money on it. The one who gets there first gets 100 bucks. Hey, I'm not after Tony yet. And big. You should see it coming a mile away. Not the way I'd go about it. 100 bucks says I have my way with her within a month. Hell, I'll do it for free. I'm going mad. What's new? Go and talk to Judy while she's still here. No, I need to sweeten her up first. You know why she's busy. If you don't, I will. I said, when did your wife last eat? Oh, dear. Shall I get the interpreter in? 
Honestly, these people, please do. I'm making no headway at all. I'm going to listen to your wife's chest. Maya. Oh, my God. Guasa. I beg your pardon? Yeah, Guasa. Guasa, something about Guasa, is that his name? Call social services. I'll try the interpreter first. This woman has been abused. We don't need that explained to us. We can't just make assumptions. Being a charged nurse means making the tough calls. Now, this is no time to be politically correct. Either you call social services or I will. There you go. Was there something else? How long have you known about Chris and Greta? Look, uh, Tanya, it wasn't my place to say. Big laugh for the boys, I bet. I wasn't laughing. And for the record, nothing happened between them until you went to Sydney. Oh, so it's my fault? No. No, I can understand why Chris got confused, though. After you and Mark... This stuff all. A bit of snogging hardly compares to the local hooker moving into my house. So what are you, going to run out on him again? Of course you take Chris's side, whatever. Look, Tony... I saw you walk down the aisle. I saw you commit to each other for the rest of your lives. And I was there when your little one didn't make it. I've seen your pain. We all have. I've also seen Chris's. Doesn't mean that he gets to sleep with no, me. Look, I'm not making excuses. He didn't just lose his son, though, Tony. He lost you. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. What's up? How was Norman this morning? Pretty happy? He's okay. Happy that his treatment's over for now. Right. Look, I really haven't got time for mucking around. Was there something you wanted? I was wondering if you could have a look at a patient of mine. She's got some unusual marks on her back. Is she in plastics? No, not yet. But she's Chinese. She oh, we should have said. I probably know her. <laughs> that is not what I meant. I am studying here because I can't study at home. Where should I try next? My car? The toilets? Pretty please, my ex-flatmate who I miss so much. Liar. Judy thinks this woman has been abused and wants to call social services, but her English is practically non-existent. Who's in ED? Mark's on a break in Dr. Badley's flat out. I'd really appreciate if you could have a quick look. I can just see it getting really messy. Oh, come on, then. Thank you so much. I'll never ask you to do anything else ever again. You're right. <laughs> Are you 